staying on the theme of like the entry level techniques for people coming into the industry new uh, we're going to do foot locking and what we're going to do is foot lock up and then climb directly off of this foot locking prusik with a double rope climbing system so what we've done here is shot a line up the tree to install this foot locking line and sent a alpine butterfly to choke up around the branch at the top. So a standard way of setting up a foot locking line. And what I'm gonna do is I've got a Sterling RIT, which is a heat resistant cord, um, a Sterling RIT foot locking prusik, which is gonna clip to me. And then I've also got another life support um, like prusik sling wrapped around the foot locking prusik. So when I get up to the point up above this first branch, what I can do is pull up my hitch climber system, clip it into here, and that will allow me to climb double rope off of the foot locking line. So let's get into it. Okay, so because we are foot locking up here, what I'm gonna do is set the foot locking line, clip in, and also remember to tie a marlin spike knot at the bottom of the foot locking line. This does two things. Number one, it helps to keep these two legs of rope together. And number two, it gives me somewhere to clip on um, my climbing system so that when I get up to the top of the tree, I can simply pull this up and not have to carry this up with me. And also because we're foot locking, I've stripped everything off of like the back of my harness, apart from a figure of eight, because if anything happens, you generally need a figure of eight to come down on the foot locking line to take your, your weight on, release the prusik and then descend on this. So let's get into it. So the mechanics of foot locking is to secure yourself onto the climbing line with a foot locking prusik and then to wrap the rope around your feet in a way that it locks so that you can stand up. To tie your foot locking prusik, obviously you need a long prusik. This is just one continuous loop, but you will get some which are eye to eye. So a small eye on one end and an oversized eye on the other. So what I'm gonna do is tie a clem heist and just means that you form a loop at the top and then wrap downwards however many times uh, you need to for the you know, amount of friction for your body weight. I'm gonna go around three times and then what you do is choke it through the big eye and then you obviously need to dress and set it. And what you'll end up with is one big loop at the top with your um, foot locking prusik threaded through it like this. And then I can move up the other prusik, which we're gonna anchor off of, move that closer up to the top. And this is actually going to double as a point which I can clip my neck elastic into just to keep the foot locking prusik like taut between my bridge ring and here just to keep it closer to me. And to actually foot lock, what you're going to do is you're going to put the climbing line on the outside of one of your feet. So in this instance, on the outside of my right foot. And then I'm going to take the lower section of rope underneath my foot and capture it with my other foot. And then wrap around and stand on top like so. So to do that again, I'm taking my right foot and catching the rope underneath of my right foot with my left foot, wrapping it around the top and stamping down on my right foot in order to stand up. And this is the mechanics of foot locking. And in theory, you should be able to stand on it and just hold your position.
Sending the throw bags down, dude. Heads up. Shot. So I have foot locked up to this point from the ground up to there where I've anchored the foot locking prussic and I've got my second prussic for my climbing system to climb off of. Now all I need to do is pull up the double rope system which is attached to the marlin spike and I've pre-installed it with my hitch climbing system. So hitch climber and prussic loop and two beaners and then I've also um, added on the pulley which will go on to this point so unclip this and clip it to there and this is life support of its own regard and this is life support of its own regard as well so now that we have foot locked up into position and if that is the branch which we want to go out on what I've done is installed the double rope system onto this life support prussic around my foot locking prussic and I'm going to clip into this system and what I can do is move this climbing system as close to the top of the foot locking prussic as possible and start loading it up so now it's got my weight and the foot locking prussic is unweighted now what we want to do is put a couple of marlin spikes underneath of this to uh, to stop it to stop this foot locking prussic creeping down and what i'll do is i'll put it a bit lower because i'm going to come back to this point and unclip it like so so that is purely to stop the foot locking prussic if it were to creep down and if this prussic were to creep down it's stopped by this carabiner and this eye so now we can climb off of this point and access that branch down there excellent so if the work we needed to do on this tree was purely on this lower limb over here say it's over the top of a house with dead wood which needs to be taken off of it or maybe some of it brought in then it means that we can foot lock up to there and climb off of this point directly with a double rope system so it's an old school technique before we had rope wrenches and the like but it's such a valuable technique to have in your skills within your mental toolbox so uh, I'll keep working my way around this limb and then show you how to de-rig this system as well. And the other thing is it also gives me the value of having a high high point instead of just coming up to this branch. So not a bad high point to start accessing different parts of the tree. If I needed to get out over this side, I'd redirect up over this branch and then come straight out over here or even redirect off of there. So this is purely a technique for essentially accessing one lower section of the tree if that's the only work you actually need to do. Right, so what I'll do is I'll show you how to de-rig this system now. Awesome. So to de-rig the foot locking line so I can descend straight down, all I need to do is unclip that carabiner from that marlin spike. So I'm going to foot lock up there and tail this climbing system up and then just simply unclip that beaner.
Right, so all my weight is still in the double rope system. I unclip that stopper carabiner for the foot locking prusik and then I can descend back down and show you how to retrieve the whole system from the ground. Excellent. Now it's time to retrieve the whole system from the ground. Okay, so to retrieve this system, remember there is an alpine butterfly knot choked up at the top of this tree, and it is hard to break the friction of the foot locking prusik, bearing in mind we've climbed off of it. So we're going to pull on one side of the line and hopefully get the side of the line that isn't choked. Uh, yep, that's it. So that was quite hard. And then we switch to the other side. <clears throat> and then that walks the foot locking prusik down. There we go. So I just did a poor man's panting by uh, wrapping a half hitch around my boot and using that to pull down the foot locking prusik. And as you can see, the whole system is coming back down towards us. <laughs> Nearly there. And at this point, break the foot locking prusik where all the friction is coming from. Send it down. And you can remove your double rope climbing system. and your foot locking press it completely and you're back to just a straight access line with the alpine butterfly which was choked at the top of the tree for all you people just getting into climbing one of the original fundamental access techniques was foot locking up the tree by choking your access line with an alpine butterfly at the top and then installing your double rope system onto the access line using your foot locking prusik. So we've just gone through all the details of how to do that. Hopefully that was useful for you. If there's anyone which doesn't know this technique, give it a share and hopefully they get some value out of it. Cheers. <laughs>